Okay, last thing that we'll do on this little bit before we then add some complexity in later, we now just need to come up with drawing our own diagrams for these kinds of things. We've seen that with the diagrams, it's, it's actually fine. We now know how to resolve the angles. If you resolve the forces, sorry, not resolve the angles, if you resolve the forces, you can do this, you can do F equals MA, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so it says here, a box of mass eight kilograms lies on a smooth horizontal floor. A force of 10 newtons is applied at an angle of 30 degrees, causing the box to accelerate horizontally along the floor. Work out the acceleration of the box. Calculate the normal reaction between the box and the floor. This is going to be super easy because it's this question that we had here. You're never going to get a question that's got this many forces on it. Okay, I did it to make it complicated so that you're prepared for easier kinds of questions that we've got. So you should always start off with a diagram to think about what this looks like. It talks about a smooth horizontal floor. We've got a box. Instantly, I've been told it's eight kilograms, so I'm going to put that its weight is 8G. After I think about weight, I should also think about normal reaction as well. These are just the things you should always have on your diagrams, weight and normal reaction. Well, most diagrams will have that. And it's got a force of 10 newtons is applied at an angle of 30 degrees. So I've got 10 newtons coming out like this and the angle is 30 degrees. We're going to work out the acceleration of the box and the normal reaction. It's super simple. Yeah? If you do on the left, Yeah, of course. It because it didn't say work out the acceleration of the box and tell me if it's going to the left or to the right. It just says it's being pulled along the floor. I could be looking at this box as though I was stood on the other side of this whiteboard here, couldn't I? And it would look like it was actually going in the other direction. So you just, you just put it on wherever you like. So all I need to do is take this 10, resolve it into the 10 cos 30 and the 10 sine 30. Nice, simple problem that we've got here. I still will do my other diagram just for the sake of this. I've got the R and I've got the 10 sine 30. And to the right, I've got the 10 cos 30. And downwards, I have got the 8G. So the first thing it wants me to do is to calculate the acceleration. So I'm going to do F equals MA and I'm going to do that direction. There's no resisting force to it, okay? What would change about the wording of the question if there was a resisting force? I would say a rough surface, and that's what we'll be doing in a few lessons' time. We'll be describing what friction is, okay? So we're now going to say we've just got the resultant force is just 10 cos 30 equals the mass times the acceleration. So the acceleration is 10 cos 30 divided by 8. So you should say that the acceleration is 1.08 meters per second squared. Obviously, we've got that to our three significant figures. Part B of the question says work out the normal reaction. So that means we're going to be resolving it in the up and down direction. You know, when I use this letter R here, I'm not talking about the normal reaction. I'm saying resolve the forces, work out what the forces are. Now, in the up and down direction, I can see I've got R plus, whoops, 10 sine 30 equals 8G. Well, I know what sine 30 is. Sine 30 is a half. So it's just R plus 5 equals 8G. So R is equal to 8G minus 5. 8G minus, whoops, I did, is 73.4 Newtons, OK? Note, R is less than 8G, not equal to 8G, OK? In year 12, you may have previously been like, oh, yeah, the normal reaction is just equal to the weight. We talked about this earlier on in today's lesson because there's an additional force kind of lifting it off the ground a little bit by pulling it up diagonally. The normal reaction is also going to reduce as well. 73.4 is less than 8G and 8G is 78.4, obviously. I don't know why I had to do that on the calculator when I've just seen it. And you take away five, it's 73.4, okay? So you're going to get out of your seats because we've had a bit of a, well, not lazy, you've just been sort of quietly done here. I want to see your diagrams now because so far I've done the diagrams for you. You have got on your pages, I'll leave it on this page, you have got three questions here. Um, the first one's sort of drawn for you. You've got two of them that you need to draw here. And I've got the answers down in the corner for you as well, okay? So we've got three questions to try. I'm going to do those on the whiteboards, okay? Here you go. Thank mm -hmm. you.